Hi everyone, Dean Ellis from DarTech and welcome to a brand new playlist on our uh, Joomla 3 channel. Uh, and in this uh, series we're going to go through the menu manager and all the menus and menu items that we can build. Uh, it might take a little bit of time because there's a lot of options you can have and uh, depending on what sort of extensions you put into your, uh, your website that uh, number can increase. Uh, to get to the menu manager, we uh, up in the top in the uh, the Joomla toolbar, we click on the menus and menu manager, All right, right there. Okay, and it's very much the same layout as the article manager. Um, you see your your menu and your header, and you got your toolbars, and over here is the options. Um, so I'll have a quick look at that one, and nowhere near as many as the uh, the article options, um, and basically uh, it's pretty straightforward. So the uh, the first field cab off the rank, the browser page title. Um, this one doesn't make a whole lot of sense in uh, in its location because we're actually in the menus configuration and I cannot see any way that this will actually appear on the browser title. Now what we mean by that is if we go to, if we just close this and we go to the menu items area where all your menu items are, click on, um, let's say click on the home page and we go to page display all right, we have the same settings in the menu item. Now, when we put the browser title page in here, notice that it's blank. Okay, now when it's blank, it refers back to the menu title. So when we click on the uh, home page and click on the home link, notice that up on the tab, you see home. Now, if we go in here and change this to home page and click save and refresh the uh, front page, notice now that it shows home page. So what should happen is this browser page title should default to that home page. Now if we go back into the menu item, unless there's some way of specifically um, linking to a menu um, on the front page, I really don't see how this can provide you with the browser page title up in the up in the tab, so I'm not quite sure. I'll do a bit more research, and if I find out on uh, if I, how this works, I'll uh, I'll come back into it and modify the uh, the tutorial. But uh, honestly, I, I again I don't see the point in having it because you wouldn't be so um, you would make a lot of your browser tabs default to one setting on all your menu items because all your menu items are going to be different. So it's a bit of a nurgatory field that one, I believe. Okay, show page heading. Um, again, how can you do this in the menu section when when you go to the menu item section, it does the same thing. And I'll show you how it works in the menu item section. So we'll go to this time. We'll go to the category blog menu item, and we'll hit the uh, page display. And we have the show page heading displayed. So when we go to the front page, click on category blog. Notice that the category blog heading is showing in here and this is what it's showing here. Now to hide it we click no, save, notice that it now disappears. So again if we go back into the menu and to the menus I don't see how the displaying the page heading for a menu can display anywhere because I've not yet seen a link to a particular menu to display on a page so I'm not quite sure how that works uh, in that description. Okay, the page heading um, that's linked to the show page heading. It's an alternative text, so rather if that's left blank, it defaults to uh, the um, name of the menu or the name of the menu item. Uh, if you fill that in there, it'll actually display this text instead of the default name of the menu or menu item. Okay, and the page class that's um, to do with um, cascading styles for your sheet if you've uh, a little bit more advanced and you know how to do um, styles, style names and you want to lay out your heading slightly differently you can put your class uh, in there. Okay, I'm not going to cover off on that on this tutorial because uh, this is a fairly basic set of tutorials. Um, later on in our um, tutorial list we'll go into that and start looking at uh, how to set up classes and, and play around with that. Okay, so that's all that. Uh, those um, page display options. Not a very useful thing. I don't see it as being very useful for the menu items um, as defaults. I think uh, um, I've not yet seen it being used anywhere. Um, and if it, look, if anyone can 
knows how to use it or can find a link to show some information on how this actually works then I'll be more than happy to have a look at it okay the next tab is permissions okay you'll see it's exactly the same setup as your uh, article manager options uh, permissions all right it's still all the uh, the default uh, users and they all have the same um, the same levels of access on all of your uh, your articles and menus okay so I'm not going to go too much into that that's all much the same again I'll do a separate tutorial on permissions and user groups and all sort of stuff uh, in a later playlist okay and that's uh, that's the options tab so we'll close out of that okay what else do we have here uh, the help is we've, we've shown the help buttons a very useful button have a look at it to see what's in there um, the rebuild button now you don't normally need to use this um, this button actually rebuilds your uh, tables your menu tables um, if you have any issues with that you can actually hit the rebuild button and it'll, it'll reconstruct all your tables for you okay delete um, be careful using this one because if you check a checkbox and hit delete you'll delete the entire menu um, you may have issues if things are published or trashed um, so just be careful when you use that one um, a lot of times you won't need to use it okay edit if we click on the icon and hit edit okay it takes you to the three fields that you need to uh, create the menu now the only one that's really shown uh, that I've seen is the title okay the menu type well it's a menu it's I've not yet seen any type of menu that you can use and the description is whatever you want it's free text you can put whatever you like in there okay so that's uh, how you edit the menu again you don't see menu type or description at all I've never seen it anywhere okay you only see the title okay um, and you can if you have a lot of menus if you have a very large site and have a lot of menus there's a search function there uh, it works the same as the other um, articles options uh, and you also have a, a display drop down works exactly the same as the rest okay on the uh, front of this page you see a number of uh, headings okay um, and you'll see in here you see a number of published uh, under published that is the number of menu items that's published under the main menu or the menu that's in that row okay it also will display the number of unpublished menu items you have and the number of trashed menu items you have now you need to deal with these before you can do specific things with your main menu uh, maybe like delete it or, or whatever but so uh, if you create a, another menu with the same name and as what's in the trashed or unpublished it won't let you do it because you've already got it in there and you need to remove it from these and I'll show you how to do that a little bit, little bit later on when we go into the menu items okay the modules the linked modules um, when you create a menu to display it on your front page you need to link it to it you have to need to create a module uh, a menu module to display it on the on your front page okay and this basically just shows you which menu which module it's actually linked to and there's a module in this system called main menu and that's where it is and it's in position one right which is the uh, the bar across the top okay hidden menus uh, there's the menu for hidden menus and it's uh, public in position 5 and I don't have it displayed anywhere so uh, hidden menus it's one of my little things that I use to grab links to um, certain articles and objects in your website that you don't actually want them to display on the menus okay and that's uh, pretty much how it all works the idea is the un unique number for each of the menus okay um, and that's about it you can order the uh, menus by title or by ID um, doesn't really matter uh, and that's the uh, the front page all right I'll close it on that uh, on that note I'll end the tutorial um, if you got something out of it like the uh, hit the like button um, subscribe to the channel because I'm doing tutorials on this uh, very frequently um, and I'll see you in the next one bye for now